Welcome to the Thargoid Report. I'm Commander Burr. This is a weekly breakdown of the ongoing conflict with the Thargoids and a guide to how you can easily get involved and make a difference. If you find this information useful and enjoy our content then do give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to make sure you see all our future videos. There has been a pause in the war. It appears that the Thargoids almost entirely redirected their efforts to the newly established human enclave in the Witchhead Nebula and have, for the moment at least, left the bubble and its inhabitants alone. Unsurprisingly the enclave stations got the lion's share of the Thargoids attention and are, as a result, almost entirely offline. However, Humanity's independent pilots responded to the Thargoids attacks with their usual determination and appear to have at least, for the moment, driven back the alien threat from the nebula. As a result there are no newly attacked stations to evacuate this week, no new scout vessel infestations and no new incursions to report on. There is however plenty of repair work to be done and plenty of Thargoid combat still to be found. The Enclave Interstellar Initiative appears to be still ongoing and repair of the stations in the Witchhead Nebula looks to be the next objective. That is however a colossal ask due to the remote nature of the target stations. With that in mind and with the war appearing to pause for a moment the team at Operation Ida, the player group who normally coordinate the ongoing repair of the damaged stations, have made the difficult decision to keep their focus on the damaged stations in the bubble and try to make up some ground whilst the arena appears to be quieter. The team at the post disaster evacuation service have no new station attacks to focus on and so are turning their resources towards the Witch Head Nebula's transport and repair requirements instead. If you want to get involved with either of those efforts then I've linked their respective Discord servers below. They'll be able to tell you what to transport and where you need to take it. If you still want to engage the Thargoids they are always available for a scrap and are actively seeking you out in their old stomping grounds in the Pleiades. You'll also find them in permanent instances like those in Desiat. It's always wise to tackle the Goidicals with some support and you'll find links below to Discord servers for the AXI, the Hive and the Hand. Between them these groups have all platforms covered, they're a really friendly bunch and whatever your level of competence they'll help you find bugs to suit your needs. Wherever you go commanders remember, pick your fights with care. That's it for now. Thank you so much for making it this far. You can also find us on Twitter, Patreon, Discord and Instagram. Links to all those are in the description below and we'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then, O7 CMDRs, may all your high predictions be brief and don't let the horror daisies give you nightmares. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.